So I'm not saying I've been dreading this day, but I kind of been, been dreading this day. You've been putting it off. You could have had this done when I was out on my trip last week. We were waiting on that sealant to ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How convenient. <laughs> this just feels like deja vu. But we have the sealant here. It's the OEM Subaru three bond stuff to tackle the timing chain cover reinstall. It's gonna be so much better than trying to do it by hand. Yeah, here, you just go around the inside. That's what it's well, like, right? let's double check. And it goes around the inside, continuous bead. Yeah, around the inside. I don't know how much though. Just don't screw it up. Here, you do it. No, I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to do this it. stuff. Wait, you'll blame me. No, I won't blame you. I promise. You just probably want to go as consistent as possible. You know what? We should have had Mammy do this because this is like putting icing on a cake. That just looks ugly, doesn't it? Can you be more consistent, possibly, or no? Do you want me to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I would like for you to do it. Okay. Because yes, I am not doing very well there. You know what? It's all that smoking that you do that's caused you to get sick over time. I don't smoke. And you don't have a steady hand anymore. So, Alan says that... I need to say something about smoking. I don't think so. I don't smoke that much, actually. I really don't. But if you want to blame somebody for why I use tobacco, you can blame Kurt. My old buddy back in Ohio where I grew up with, and he taught me how to chew tobacco. So I got hooked on chewing tobacco when I was probably 14 years old. When I was 42, I think, probably seven or eight years ago, I gave that up in favor of uh, nicotine tablets. Whoa, 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 hold on one second. What is this in here? Huh? Yeah, how old is that? What is that? How old is it? You could, that's probably so dry you could smoke them. Hey, <laughs> what if you could smoke them? No. Yeah, it's smokeless tobacco, but I might be able to smoke these things. I'll have to give them a try. So anyways, don't ever even start because nicotine is highly addictive. Take it from me. Um, someday I will be nicotine free. So positive reinforcement. Alan wants me to say, don't chew, don't smoke, don't do anything that... Uh, can harm you long term and comments. don't even think that a bunch of comments are going to make me stop stop <laughs> my nicotine habit i don't smoke that much in fact if you comment a lot on it i'll get nervous and then i'll smoke more so it'll be your fault okay look at that that's good is that like an an s right there on the <laughs> on the edge it's fine the more the better i would think it's just we don't want globs of it to chunk off and then go get sucked up into the uh oil pump definitely doing a better job than i was doing i wish i could Say not otherwise, so I could criticize you. Okay, we uh, did the cover. At least Alan did the cover. He has a much steadier hand than I do, and now we're doing the, the sections on the uh, block. I think I got them. So there should be seven on top, seven on bottom. Well, that was stressful. <laughs> we managed to get it in without nicking any other parts on the engine. All that's left to do is just... Tighten everything back on. If it leaks, I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> it won't. But I'm not sure if we wanna torque it down before it dries or if it cures. What do you think? I think uh, as soon as we get them all on, then... Torque them down to spec? Yeah. Okay. We managed to get the crank pulley back on. We were a little bit scared with the reinstall of it because the little metal, what was it? I guess bearing pulled out with it. So we made sure that we aligned it properly. Threw that back on, as well as the alternator. And now Drift Dad is just stealing parts from the FRS. Yeah, now you know how it feels. I don't, I never steal parts from your car. I mean, you well, want to steal my tools. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll admit to that. But because right there off of this pulley and this pulley, there's a bracket that holds up the turbo. That's why Drift Dad is stealing the bolts and such. The bracket for it that will be going onto the FRS is chilling somewhere back here. Yeah, right there. Now I'm working on removing the old, I guess, boost gauge and AFR gauge out of the BRZ. I already have it taken apart in here. Just need to figure out where it connects on the backside and totally remove it. Drift Dad's going ahead and working on oil pan removing it from the FRS I'm a little bit thirsty so I'm kind of thinking maybe I get a drink again another drink of oil <laughs> you, you took one for the team there didn't you it didn't get it in my face nice and clean congratulations you won yeah what brand is this come on focus innovate motorsports gauge probably be selling this we don't really have a use for it nacho no it's not a toy it's not a toy nacho <laughs> nacho what are you doing why are you getting in the way all the time you just want love and attention do we not give enough to you all right get out of here
Go get a toy. Go play with something. Go play with a stick. So Drift Dad's been cleaning the surface off on the oil pan. We figured while we already opened up that one thing of sealant, or gasket maker, or whatever, you might as well knock oh, out the FRS yikes. oil pan. You clean this? Yeah. It's good. It's Thank just yours. It's just uh, scraped up a little bit. Is it okay to rub it like that with my finger? I mean, I wouldn't see a problem with it. If somebody out there says, yeah, that's like a really stupid thing to do. And they're gonna <laughs> give a comment. That's all right. If I it mean, doesn't it, leak, then I guess it was okay. If it <laughs> leaks, then I guess we know that you didn't clean it good enough. All right, we've been going to town, piecing this thing back together. Coolant lines are already on. Header is about to be back on. And then exhaust is gonna be thrown back on. Knocking stuff out here. <laughs> So for the past hour and a half, Drift Dad and I have been on our grind. Hour and a half? Yes. Like seven hours? No, but the whole car is pieced back together. The exhaust, factory exhaust, mind you, is all back on. I did keep the dinky track pipe on. So yeah, we were gonna put everything back to stock, which it would include putting the stock intake piping thingy back in. But I figured let's make our lives easier, not have to worry about it and just steal the parent one off the FRS and install it. It makes the engine bay look a lot cleaner too. So anyways, uh, I guess that's it for today. He said he was gonna finish it up tomorrow while I don't work. I doubt it. We'll no, I see. will, we'll I will. See. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see the bumper on and everything. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I guess uh, if you dropped a like down there, do you still do that or you don't say that anymore? Yeah, no, that's Or fine. you subscribe if you haven't already? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Anything. so do all that. Whatever you normally do on YouTube, do it please. <laughs> and then uh, we'll talk to you guys. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll be on in the next couple of days or so. Peace. Peace. recording Alan said he wanted me to close the video and he said don't talk in monotone because he thinks I sound stupid so uh, I guess this is gonna be goodbye peace